Anyway, Ryan McGilvray, welcome to the podcast. Anyway, the comfiest podcast I think we're ever going to do. <laughs> but I was going to say, we're just talking about this place and how a lot of people come here. And I know when I first came here, it was a bit of a shock to the system. It's a little bit of a gem hidden away in poor Punker in Victoria. And I was just going to say, what was it like growing up at this plot, spot and how do you reckon it's kind of shaped your riding and where you've gotten to now just by being in this area and this place yeah we've been um super lucky to obviously have a bit of land to grow up on um growing up i was always always love riding dirt bikes but never thought about taking it any further than just riding around the farm i always had a, a group, good group of close mates that we'd go riding on the weekends and buzz around in the paddocks and make little grass tracks and whatnot but um yeah just tucked out of poor punk here there's not a not a lot of traffic but um we've been able to make something pretty special up there and over the years obviously as my riding sort of developed a little bit um we've kept adding different pieces uh, di different bits and pieces along the way and um yeah, it's obviously uh, evolved over the years into something pretty cool. And um, yeah, nowadays, obviously, when we're getting uh, people over to come ride and uh, when they drive up the driveway and park up here, pretty well everyone jumps out and just goes, uh, where yeah, am I? Yeah, yeah, where am I? This is bloody the coolest spot we've ever been. Yeah. And what was that like, though? Is it Because I know when I came here, you were like when you were a bit younger, you always kind of appreciated and realized that this isn't the normal kind of upbringing for a kid to be like in motocross most people have to like get in the car and drive 45 minutes to an hour to even ride a track that they've got to pay for yeah and you can literally see your track from the back your your, your bedroom you can see your track yeah 100 percent. it's um it's been very lucky to obviously have riding out every uh, every gate of the farm we can go wherever you want and you can go ride and make tracks and do whatnot um and yeah, I guess it's definitely not what most people uh, grow up doing. Um, I'm lucky enough to have land here, but a lot of people grow up in uh, townhouses in the city or, um, yeah, I've got lots of friends down in Melbourne and that uh, race all our Vic, Vic series and um, growing up in the city and having to load your bike up, mm. spend a day, a oh, couple of hours or whatever to drive to a track, obviously, like you said, pay your money, ride and you don't, and you go back and you can't necessarily... Um, do it during the week and um obviously it just depends on uh what's going on but i'm lucky enough to sort of have it up straight at my uh at my will and i can go up there and uh ride whenever i'd like really um and yeah it's definitely been beneficial over the years and um it's sort of paying off now more so than ever 